Hi folks. Well, I got home from work today to find this waiting for me. Hmm. What can it be? <laughs> well, if you're looking at the uh, title of this video, I'm sure you know full well what it is. So I thought I would share this moment with my YouTube subscribers. I literally haven't yet laid eyes on the book. So I'm looking forward to this. And have been for many years. <laughs> okay. Very well packed. There are 10 in here, I believe, 10 complimentary copies. Yeah, it looks terrific, I gotta say. Oh, getting a little bit of reflection there, never mind. There's the front, the spine, <clears throat> and the back cover. Hang on, I'm going to put a, put a bit of better light on here. Yeah, that's a bit better. You can see it. It's really quite large. Um, just to compare it with a normal sized little paperback book. That gives you a sense of scale there. I think it's... Uh, that's a great book there, by the way. <laughs> um, but we'll talk about that another day. Yeah, it's actually a wraparound cover. So let's let's get a look at this. Oh yeah. There you go. Lovely big image. The vertical lines that you're seeing there. You might think they're a little strange. I was initially a little confused by those as well. Um, it's not raindrops. It appears to be, you know those, uh, is it deep field photographs? Or maybe that's not quite the right word. Um, those photographs of the night sky that are overexposed so that the earth actually rotates. And you see that rotation matched in the rotation of the stars. So it gives you this sense that the earth itself is almost like a kind of, to use it for want of a better term, a spaceship almost, and it's rotating, uh, which causes the, uh, the stars to turn into like stripes across the sky. So we've got that in the reflection, whereas in the actual universe above, it's, it's a steep field still photograph, if it is a photograph. Um, where we can see an awful lot more than what's really there to the naked eye. It's really there, but the naked eye can't see it. Only when you expose the camera lens for longer can you get these kinds of photographs. It really does look quite beautiful. And it has a greenish tint, which kind of reminds me of the Matrix movie. Um, I don't know if that was intentional on the part of the illustrator or not, but uh, it really looks well. Yeah, so let's let's open it up. It says here in memory of oops, in memory of Aristarchus. Do you know who that is? Greek philosopher? Yeah. I'll talk, I'll talk sometime about why it's dedicated to him. Um, yeah, it looks, it looks fantastic. I'll just give you a, just give you a quick look through it, through it. Let's 
give you a sense of the text and the size and how much is in here. A lot of reading in there, folks. <laughs> Part one is actually called Reality Check. Uh, not because my first book was called Reality Check, but it's not that it's a copy of the first book. Um, although the first book was sort of absorbed into this. Um, reality Check was just about, it was just the right term for Part one, which is all about um, reassessing what you've been conditioned to believe through your upbringing, through your culture, through everything, media, education system, everything, reassessing it all. And then part two is called Deep Dive, which is uh, what you do once you've questioned everything and once you've deconstructed everything, you want to look deeply at the nature of reality to see what we can actually find out about it. And then part three is uncharted territory and that's where I delve into parapsychology and the occult not as a means of obtaining personal power or anything like that but more because this is the avenue that provides the most tangible evidence that the strange esoteric view of consciousness that I have has merit. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. So, I couldn't be happier. <laughs> Finally, it feels real. So folks, if you missed the, uh, the last video that I put up, um, you can buy this right now from all the usual places, from Amazon in most countries, from Barnes & Noble, from Waterstones, from the publisher's own website to skypress.co.uk if you like, and other places. I will link them all down below.